All right, you remember a few episodes ago when we finished this X and Y axis? Yeah, we're gonna undo all that work today. Well, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna double do it. I'll tell you what, we're gonna do-do this project. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe go check out a few of our earlier videos on this Surface Grinder build. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about surface grinding in general, maybe go check out Rob Renzetti's videos or Ox Tools. Uh, Steve Summers, I'll link him down in the description. He's got a few great videos as well. So the main reason we're undoing a lot of this work is just because, you know, a lot of these precision parts were made before we had the mini mill. And uh, although we did make it work, it took a lot of shims and, and made assembly of this thing pretty difficult. So uh, we're just going to start using the tools we've got now and make it a whole lot better. All right, here's a bit of a problem I'm running into. As a matter of fact, this was a problem the first time I put this together and I was kind of hoping the mill would solve it. Uh, what I did was I used this top of the nut as a reference and milled this parallel to that. Unfortunately, this nut, that's really not a good reference because you can see this guy, even though it's got some play in it, it's leaning more towards this end. So I'm gonna have to find a way to rig this up in the mill, find the exact center of this play and mill that flat according to that, not this top surface. Hi, welcome to Clickspring. I think the original one got bent at some point when uh, the top got dropped off, so mm -hmm. we're just going to make a new one. And... All right. I don't think my job the first time was all that good anyway. Yeah, no, I think we've gotten better at this, so we should make it a little more precise. Yep. I think I'll take this opportunity to thank our Patreon supporters. You guys have been awesome as usual. And uh, for those of you that have been 
uh, really supporting us in the tier that gets you free t-shirts, so I got some good news. Uh, we're going to have some new t-shirts pretty soon. Uh, in fact, they'll be up for sale for everybody else as well, so check the link in description when those are available. So at this point, you may be wondering why we just spent the last six or seven hours uh, making a part we already did. Well, the change is subtle. Uh, this was before. Uh, there's not much, but if you look real close, there's just the smallest amount of wobble right here. It might only be, I don't know, half a thou. When this whole thing gets bolted down, it's enough to make a difference. So let's change this out for the good piece. One thing you'll notice is just the the new one just looks a little nicer. We also don't have the screw up that I had on the last one with the uh, the wrong size bolt. So here's the new one. Enough of the rework, let's get to some new stuff. Alright, after trying to assemble this thing a few times with the motor, it's given me a few problems. There's just really, like, the amount of clearance in here to try and fit everything is just a pain in the butt. And I realized that there's a whole section of steel in here I really don't need, so I'm gonna cut it out. Before I assemble the spindle, I'm gonna need to pull this motor apart. It's been sitting around in the garage for a while and it's collected quite a lot of uh, metal shavings in there. This is definitely gonna be uh, the biggest problem with this motor. We're gonna have to figure out how to seal it up. But for now, I just wanna take it apart and clean it.
Now, I know what you're thinking. Now, you got this thing mostly together. Probably wouldn't be much more work to get the motor running and try it out. And frankly, at this stage, that would be kind of irresponsible and dangerous. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, just in case this isn't super obvious, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is dangerous. So if you've spent the last like 13 months building your own surface grinder and you're looking for me for advice, uh, yeah, you're watching the wrong channel. <laughs> Go watch this little Tony or something. We're just gonna experiment, but from a distance. Proof of concept, I think we're there. Uh, we got a whole lot of work to do for uh, getting everything dialed in, uh, tightening up the bearings. You see we do have a little bit of waviness going on. Uh, I think part of that is just that I'm hand feeding this thing in right now. Uh, when this is CNC controlled, a lot of that's gonna go away. And we're running at like a fifth the power that the thing's gonna run at when we're all said and done. It's just hooked up to a 12 volt LiPo at the moment, so not exactly ideal. I know those of you with some surface grinding experience are probably looking at all the things I did wrong tonight, and I'm sure you're absolutely right. But consider this. We've done almost no adjustment of the motion rounds. There's still a ton of adjustment to be made in the spindle bearings. This is running on a 12 volt LiPo battery. I'm hand feeding all three axes, and I've never even surface ground anything before. And you know what, we did pretty good. So I'm gonna let the haters hate. I think this is actually gonna work. But in the meantime, I've got grinding wheel dust everywhere as expected. I'm gonna actually make this thing safe, put a few guards on, seal off this motor. I think we might actually have something. So I'm looking forward to finish this thing off. I know you guys are too. Uh, we've got at least two or three more videos to do on this. There's still electronics and all the controls, uh, but we are getting there. So that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you guys on the next one.